Hey guys, welcome back. So for today's video I'm going to be trying out these new Electroset Trio markers which I managed to pick up on sale from TK Maxx for £23. So I thought that was a good bargain and I thought I'd do a video on them. So let's get these open. Um, they actually had a bright colour set in TK Maxx as well but I needed new grey markers so I thought I'd try out the greys. Um, yeah, so let's take an actual look at the pens themselves. They're in a clear plastic casing, which you can see the colour cartridge I think it is inside. And then on one side they've got the brush tip, which is actually more of a sponge. I don't know if that's normal for brush markers or not, because I haven't really used them before, other than really cheap ones from the works, but it's going to be interesting to try these ones out. And then on the other side they've got the fine tip, which will be nice to do some good little details on my pictures and everything. And then they've got the standard chisel nib, which is on all letter set markers, which I don't really use very often, but it's there anyway. And then on the end with the chisel nib and fine tip, they've got this rubber grip. So I guess it's one way to tell which end is which. And then they've just got your standard barcode and colour code, and it's embossed with Tria on the side, which is quite nice. And the tin itself, on the front, it shows you the colour swatches, which surprisingly because I did a few colour swatches myself of the pens they actually match, most of them match pretty well to the actual pens which a lot of markers don't normally do that so that's quite nice but yeah it's a nice little tin and then it's got details of the pens on the back and yeah I can't wait to try these out I'm going to be colouring my Inktober piece the Wanderer Witch using these markers because I think it would look really nice in the greys um, for the skin colour I decided to use the warm greys because this set actually has warm greys, neutral greys and just grey. Um, yeah, I just thought I'd use the warm greys for the skin because otherwise it'd feel a bit too cold. And I used the cool grey for the hair and the neutral greys for the clothes. Now one thing I did find odd is normally with markers like you get cool greys like one two, three and up and the one is normally the lightest whereas in these the lower the number the darker the colour which I thought was a bit odd so like the ten I think there was a yeah the ten or the seven whichever it was was the lightest grey and then the three I think was in there was the um the darkest which I thought was quite bizarre because all the others go the other way but yeah, other than that, these pens are actually really nice to use. I'm still a bit, still learning using the spongy brush tip. And it was quite, it's nice for blending. I can see why people go for the brush tips and I would like to get some more of these. I would like to try coping markers one day, but that's for, for way in the future probably because I can't afford those at the minute. But yeah. And at the end I did go over the skin with one of my really light skin tones just to give it a little bit more life to a skin and to break away from the rest of the greys. It did look alright with just the greys but I wanted it just to stand out just that little bit more from her hair and clothes. But yeah there's not really much else left to say so I, I would recommend you get these markers if you wanted to try especially if you can pick them up on sale like I did because then they are definitely worth it. Um, yeah, I hope you like the video. Please like and subscribe. If you want to see more videos like this, then please leave a comment down below and hit that thumbs up, and then I'll know whether to do more or not. But thank you for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.